y'all guys that was a productive day uh i learned a lot more than i thought i would about making cheese for these knives now i did mess up the finish on the knives so i'm gonna have to go back and redo the finish so as we go through these realize that i'm gonna fix the finish don't don't get freaky about it but uh i, I just learned a lot and what i've come up with is i'm now able to they're still zell's crappy cheese but we've got retention but we can get the knife in and out fairly easily you know and we're not rattling around and that was my goal and we've met that goal now as you can see all the sheaths are different shaped and that's because as i was learning uh well i was learning and i real and also i was trying things i wanted to see what i really wanted for these knives and uh, what I've kind of come up with is for most of them, I'm going to want something more like this. As small as I can get it. Now you can only go small, so small because of the rivets. Or not rivets, eyelets. But uh, it's a small knife. It doesn't need a huge sheet. Now, some of you are saying, well, what the heck is a shiver and why are we talking about it? And we can get them all out here. And I'll just talk about the shiver a little bit. Well, several months ago, actually... I was standing at the grinder and I was gonna grind a bird and trout knife for myself. And I'd do a little practice, get a little better at it. And me and the grinder had an argument. And my three and a half inch bird and trout style knife that was supposed to have a real nice set of uh, red and black G10 handles, or maybe I had red and green out for it, I don't remember. Black and green, I mean. But anyhow, me and the grinder had a fight and it turned into this two and a half inch blade little utility knife. And I begrudgingly went ahead and finished it because really I wasn't terribly happy about it, but I went ahead and did it. And as you can see, the finish on this knife is pretty crappy, but I sharpened it up and I went to using it. And I realized that I really, really liked the little knife. And uh, I showed it Oh, in a video some time ago, and I think it may have made it to Instagram. Not sure about that, but people were interested. So I thought, well, you know, I'll get back into the Fusion 360, and I'll draw some out. And that's how things got started. Now, how do you get one? Well, you've got to send me an email. And uh, email's down in the description. Don't run down there yet, because you need to know what you need to put in the email. Currently, what I'm making are a drop point, a Warncliffe, and a sheep's footish blade. Uh, you have Warncliffe right here. Most of the Warncliffes are gonna come with, see if I can get the light on that. You see how you've got just a little bit of kick up on the end of that blade. Most of them are gonna come like that because I like that. You have your uh, reverse Tonto or uh, sheep's foot. And the reason it's different is See how much of curvature you have of that blade? That's why it's different than the Warncliffe. It's not the Ricasso area because that's going to vary from knife to knife. And we have the drop point. And I suppose we can get the box out for the drop point too. Why not? And there you go. Those are the three that you can choose from. They're also going to come in two and a half inch or three inch. And those numbers are suggestions. If you order a two and a half inch or a three inch, it may vary by uh, a tenth or a few hundredths either way. Uh, if you have some sort of knife laws in your area that keep you at a certain length, you need to be watching how I'm measuring and know how to measure where you're at. Because I'll give you a from here to here measurement and I'll give you an edge measurement. Uh, in the emails whenever I send them out and you it's up to you to make sure you get a knife you can use where you're at so whenever you send this email you need to tell me two and a half or three inch sheep's foot drop point or worn clip and that's it for now everything else happens whenever I'm at the grinder because I'm learning this stuff and uh, I shouldn't say I'm really learning it I know what I'm doing but I'm getting better at it so I guess that's learning and Whenever I'm at the grinder, things happen, and sometimes I don't always work out like I intended them to. So sometimes I may be grinding one of these. It's got the heavier duty, thicker blade, 
and has the more uh, abrupt plunge grind and I may make a mistake and whenever I make a mistake well you know it may turn into one of these it's got the really soft plunge grinds because you've always heard that knife makers don't make or don't mess up knives they just make shorter knives well knife makers also don't mess up plunge grinds they just make softer ones it's just the way it is at least in my shop anyhow that's how you get your hands on one of them somebody's going to ask about pricing down there in the description and i don't have exact pricing yet i'm waiting on the laser guy he's got to get some stuff together uh, so we can do some testing with the laser but he is the trusted laser guy i trust that he's going to get it right and uh, we're not going to have problems there so we're going to wait on him which may take a couple of three four weeks and i've still got a few things to do around here obviously cleaning up the blades running through the stone washer again tumbler again and the pricing is going to be very 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 reasonable for this initial runs of knives and there's more than the five that are laying here uh and they're going to be reasonable because they are training runs and what i mean by training runs is i am learning how to get these processes all together in one big ball of wax so that i can get things through especially in the rough phase in the rough phase i did uh not that one but I did uh, one more. I don't. It's uh, no. It's over here. I did five of these at a time, trying to teach myself what processes I needed to do with the various tools, so I could make the rough grinding and the roughing of everything as efficient as possible. And that's part of what I'm going to be doing through the next few knives, even after this run does go out. So the pricing is going to be very, very reasonable, and also. Get a good look at the pictures because as long as the knife is functional and everything works, I'm not going to be keeping it from you. The prices are going to be so reasonable that if a hole is drilled a little bit off, if there's a little bit of something this or that, uh, if I don't get an edge quite perfect but it's going to make a good serviceable knife, then I'm going to go ahead and let it out. And the reason is you guys have asked for them and I want to get them to you but i've also got to learn and what this whole thing is doing is paying for consumables in the shop it's paying for consumables for the knife kydex eyelet steel uh paracord to put a little cord with these things a uh, the little snap thing that goes with that uh drill bits abrasives all those sorts of things i'm not trying to make any money on uh, the actual work i'm doing i'm just trying to get stuff for the shop and not be losing money so look for very good prices on these as they come available uh one more somebody's going to ask about this one i mistakenly pulled it out uh, this is one that i ground up because i wanted to try it and i also wanted to try the gun bluing finish which i'm kind of liking but i'm going to try to get it a little darker but uh, this one is not available yet because it is a major change to the way the uh, knife blanks that I'm cutting out right now are made. I just made one of them. I'm going to sharpen it up and use it and see how it goes. And if it goes well for me, we'll bring it out for everybody else if there's any interest in it. Anyhow, guys, I really appreciate you uh, hanging out with me, listening to me talk about the shivers a little bit. I hope you enjoyed that couple minutes there at the beginning. Uh, I kind of had some fun making it, and you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time.